good afternoon students so in the last class uh, we discussed uh, gated sr latch right using uh, uh, four nand gates right and uh, which is also called as a sr flip flop which is a set and reset flip flop right so in today's class we will see the modified uh, version of uh, sr flip flop which is called a gated d latch or a d flip flop right so i can call it as either uh, d flip flop or i can also call it as the gated d latch okay so it it is very simple it is same as sr it is same as sr where uh, we used uh, four nand gates right the same as sr but in gated d flip flop i have uh, gated d latch i have only one input that is d right so what happens here you draw the same circuit of uh, sr okay q q bar and here see this we have denoted as s and this is the control input which is called as clock and this was r right so this was the circuit of uh, sr flip flop now so now to convert this uh, two inputs into one input so what i'll do here uh i'll put one not gate here that's it so this is the circuit of gated d latch or a d flip flop right so now this input will become d right so this d stands for either data or a delay right so you can either call it as delay flip flop or a data flip flop why it is called data flip flop whatever input you give here the same output will be uh, output will uh, you will get the same output or the, that flip flop will store Uh, the same input right so if d is equal to 0 the flip flop will store 0 after applying clock after applying this uh, control input the flip flop will store 0 if uh, if i make d is equal to 1 the flip flop will store 1 so this is the meaning of a data flip flop and uh, why it is called delay flip flop uh, it will it will undergo a propagation delay a little time the input will take to travel from input point to output point hence it is called the propagation delay right so now we will analyze the circuit so let us uh, um, name the nand gates right so now instead of sr i have only one out uh, one input that is uh, d and uh, one control input which is clock and uh, outputs are q and q bar right so here there are uh, there is only one input means the, you have only two combinations one is either zero or one sorry zero and one right so here will uh, now i'll keep z is, uh, d is equal to zero so when d is equal to zero that means s is equal to zero and r is equal to one that means the flip flop will reset right see if d is zero the output of first nand gate uh, i'll apply the clock pulse right so clock pulse clock will look like this it's a square waveform right so and it has two levels uh, where the level is low it is denoted as uh, uh, zero and when the there when the level is high it is denoted as one right so we are applying a clock is equal to one to get the correct output right so here uh, so we'll apply the input which is that uh, which d is equal to 0 and we'll apply the control input where uh, in which control input is equal to 1 right so now after applying this control input what happens here since uh, d is 0 this input will become 0 and uh, clock is 1 this input will become 1 right so 0 and 1 0 and 1 output of uh, third nand gate will be equal to 1 because one of the input is 0 right and since d is 0 output of this inverter is 1 and the clock is 1 so 1 and 1 is equal to 0 so what happens here the output of fourth nand gate will be equal to 0 and uh, since one of the input for uh, second nand gate is 2 uh, uh, second nand gate is 0 the output of second in, uh, second nand gate is 1 since one of the input of uh, second nand gate is 0 uh, right so q bar is equal to 1 right and this one is applied to one of the input of second nand uh, sorry first nand gate so 1 nand 1 is equal to 0 so that means when clock 
we apply when we call, when we apply the control input and d is equal to 0 the flip flop will store 0 right so where what value the flip flop stores that will uh, be highlighted by the q output if q is 0 then flip flop stores 0 if q is high then flip flop stores 1 right uh, and q bar is equal to 1 right now uh, we will apply the second input where d is equal to 1 since d is equal to 1 s is equal to 1 that means this input will become 1 and the output of uh, inverter will become 0 since one of the input of uh, fourth NAND gate is 0 the output will become high right and one NAND 1 output will become 0 right since one of the input of first NAND gate is 0 output will become 1 without any delay right it will not wait for uh, the second input right so this output is uh, 1 and this one and this one one NAND 1 is equal to 0 right so when d is equal to 0 and we apply control input what we will get q is equal to 1 and q bar is equal to 0 right so this is the gated d latch or uh, we can call we can also call it as d flip flop right and this is the truth table this is the truth table of d flip flop okay this is truth table of d flip flop next we will uh, move to the next slide in where uh, we are going to discuss one more flip flop which we call it as a jack and kilby right so in short we call it as uh, jk flip flop next flip flop is jk flip flop or which is also called as gated jk latch uh, so what is the disadvantage of sr flip flop as we have already discussed sr flip flop for last combination when s is equal to r is equal to 1 we will get q is equal to q bar is equal to either 1 or q is equal to q bar is equal to 0 in case of sr latch we got or sr flip flop we got uh, q q bar is equal to 1 and uh, in case of s bar r bar flip flop or get s bar r bar latch q and q bar is equal to 0 so which are not complement to each other right so this state is called as the forbidden state this state is called as the forbidden state so to uh, to overcome this forbidden state we are going to take the help of jk flip flop right so sr flip flop so in sr flip flop also we had this forbidden state as well as in sr latch right so to overcome that forbidden state to avoid this forbidden state we will go with the jk flip flop right so again the uh, for all these d flip flop t flip flop and jk flip flop the circuit remains same only little modification you have to do right to get uh, the other flip flop right the same circuit we used for uh, d flip flop right and in between s and r we connected one inverter right so here what modification takes place that we will see now okay so this is q this is q bar and one input is control input which we call it as clock second input is instead of j instead of s and r you denote the inputs as j and k now right so now uh, this is the modification in sr flip flop to convert sr flip flop into jk flip flop so we are going to connect again this q and q bar to these two nand gates like this so these are let us denote let us name the uh, nand gates right so this is the circuit for a jk flip flop right so here how how we are going to avoid this uh, forbidden state we will come to now okay now what i'll do instead of jk instead of sr we need to write now j and k right and input one more input is control input which is clock and two outputs q and q bar now if i make j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 and if i make control is equal to control input is high 
let us assume the previous state as 0 1 right so we will uh, analyze the circuit and uh, let us check whether these st uh, this state will remain as it is or no when j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 so when when both inputs are 0 uh, or one when one of the input one when one of the input is 0 for nand gate the output of those nand gates will be equal to high right and when one of the input is uh, high for an AND gate then it will wait for the second input right so if second input is 0 then output is high if second input is 1 then output is 0 right see now uh, for fourth gate Q is 0 so second input will be 0 so output of uh, fourth gate will be equal to 1 right and uh, since Q bar is high which is connected to second input of third gate so 1 AND 1 Q is equal to 0 that means output will remain in its previous state that is there is no change in the state right so if uh, previous state was uh, 0 1 then uh, now we will uh, assume one more uh, previous state that is 1 0 right so if q is equal to 1 q bar is equal to 0 we will again check we will an again analyze the circuit and uh, let us check whether this state remains same or no right so let us apply the clock input as 1 since one of the input is 0 for uh, uh, gates 1 and 2 output of those gates will be equal to 1 now since q bar is 0 i am taking this state right since q bar is 0 which is connected to one of the input of third gate third and gate so output of uh, third and gate will be equal to 1 and uh, this input is connected to fourth and gate so 1 and 1 is equal to 0 that means the output remains same in its previous state right so there is no change when j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 and the same state we got that is a no change state we got even for sr flip flop right so we have modified uh, we have taken the modified version of that sr flip flop and we convert into jk flip flop right so for for first state we i'll write it as no change there is no change in the state so whatever the previous state you assume the it will remain in its previous state next i'll make uh, j is equal to 0 k is equal to 1 so here i am treating this j as s and k as r right so now r is 1 means the flip flop is going to reset okay so that we will verify now so now here uh, i'll make uh, j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 1 right so here I will assume the previous state as 1 0 ok the previous state I am going to assume as 1 and 0 right see if j, if j is 0 one of the input of first NAND gate is 0 that means the output will, will become high so it will not wait for uh, the second uh, second input to come right next when k is 1 when k is 1 and control input is also 1 right so when both inputs are 1 the output of that particular NAND gate will depend on the third input right so what is the third input which is connected to q q is equal to 1 so all three inputs will become high and the output of second NAND gate will become 0 right so since the one of the input of fourth NAND gate is 0 output of fourth NAND gate will become 1 correct now this q bar is connected to a second input of first uh, third NAND gate so this will input will become 1 so 1 NAND 1 is equal to 0 right so what you got when uh, the control signal is high and when k is equal to 1 and j is equal to 0 we got the reset state this is called the reset state that means the flip flop is going to store 1 uh, sorry 0 right so now this 0 1 this 0 1 will act as the previous state for the next state if i change j and k value right so for that state the 0 and 1 will act as the previous state okay so now i'll make j is equal to 1 i'll uh, erase these intermediate values just wait so we will take the third case where j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0 j is equal to 1 k is equal to 0 and we will apply the control input which is 1 ok uh, we'll make j is equal to uh, 1 k is equal to 0 and the previous state what we are going to assume it is 0 and 1 right now we will analyze the circuit 
since one of the input of second AND gate is zero, output of second AND gate will become one, right? And uh, two inputs of first AND gates are one. That means the output will depend on the third input. So third input of first AND gate is connected to Q bar, and Q bar is high, right? So all three inputs of first uh, AND gate will become high, and the output will become zero, right? Now, since one of the input of third AND gate is zero. output of that particular rand gate will become high right so what we got here q is equal to 1 and this q is connected to second input of uh, fourth rand gate so 1 and 1 is equal to 0 so what you got for uh, j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0 uh, we got q is equal to 1 and q bar is equal to 0 right so now the uh, we understood the first three states and the last last state in sr flip flop If I take s is equal to r is equal to one, what you got? Uh, both q both outputs were either uh, high or low, right? So now we have to avoid this state that is forbidden state, right? So now uh, for next state, what will be my previous state? For next uh, set of inputs, next set of inputs, what will be my previous state? Q is equal to one and q bar is equal to zero, right? So now we will verify. Uh, how this setup or how this uh, modification uh, avoids the forbidden state okay so now we will make j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 right so if i make j is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 since j one input is high control input is is also high right now the output of first two nand gates will depend on the third input right since q is 1 since q is 1 because the previous state was One zero. Since Q is one, which is connected to third input of second AND gate, and Q bar is zero, which is connected to uh, the third input of first AND gate, right? Since one of the input of first AND gate is zero, output will become high, and all three inputs are high for uh, sec uh, second AND gate. The output of second AND gate will become zero, right? Since one of the input of fourth AND gate is zero, Q bar will become one, right? And this one. is applied to the third second input of third nand gate so one nand one will become zero right so did we avoid did we avoid the forbidden state yes because now q is zero and q bar is one that means q and q bar both are complement to each other right so when i make uh, yes j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 and if i apply the control input what will be if my previous state is 1 0 my next state will be equal to 0 1 right so again i'll show you uh, what happens if my previous state is 0 1 right i'll keep uh, j and k is equal to 1 and then i'll apply the control input what we will get here that we will uh, see now okay so now for this set of input this 0 this 0 and this 1 will act as the previous state right so i'll keep uh, j and k is equal to 1 right and control input is equal to 1 now the third input third input q bar is 1 here and q is 0 here right so the output of second nand gate will become 1 output of first nand gate will become 0 and this 0 gives you the output of uh, third nand gate which is equal to 1 right and this one and this one 1 one nand 1 one will become 0 so q will become 0 uh, sorry 1 and q bar will become 0 that means again we got the complemented state right so hence we avoided hence we avoided the forbidden state so in these two states you can check when both j and k are high we got the uh, we got a complemented states right so one state is 0 1 second one is 1 0 so if i if i keep this uh, j and k continuously high and if i go on applying the control input what happens uh, we are going to get these states repeatedly right so these states we are going to get repeatedly so and these states we call it as toggle states the flip flop is going to toggle right uh, that is jk flip flop is going to toggle when j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 right and this is also a disadvantage of to uh, jk flip flop right so how to overcome that for that we are going to use what 
jk master slave right so that we will discuss it in next class okay thank you